What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to find out the properties of planes. Let's start with some examples. Consider the plane that has normal vector 3, negative 2 and 5 and contains the points P0, 1, 2 and negative 3. Write the scalar equation of this plane. I'm going to show you two different methods to write scalar equation. You know, scalar equation is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0. So what we can do, we can sub the point in here. It's going to be a times 1 plus b times 2 plus c times negative 3 plus d equals to 0. And A, B, and C are these normal vector numbers. So we have 3 times 1, B is negative 2 times 2, and C is 5 times negative 3 plus D. So that will make it as 3 minus 4 minus 15 plus D equals to 0. So we have negative 16 plus D equals to 0, so D is 16. There is another method to solve it. We can say, since this one is the normal vector, any vector on the plane, the dot product of any vector on the plane and this normal has to give you zero. So let's find out a vector on the plane. Since this point is given, we can say x minus 1, y minus 2, and z minus negative 3, which is z plus 3. The dot product with 3, negative 2, and 5, that must be zero. So when you multiply, this 3 times x minus 1 minus 2 times y minus 2 plus 5 times z plus 3 equals to 0. So then, we, when you distribute it, it's 3x minus 3 minus 2y plus 4 plus 5z plus 15 equals to 0. So if you simplify it, it's going to be 3x minus 2y plus 15z. And then here 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 15 is going to be 16 equals to 0. And here the previous method we had d16 so we could write here based on this normal I can say 3x minus 2y plus 5z plus 16 equals to 0. So we can use any of this method to find out the scalar equation. Part B it says is vector A for 1 negative 2 parallel to the plane. If you want to find out if it's parallel to the plane the dot product of this vector and the normal vector must, must be 0. So 4 1 and negative 2 dot 3 negative 2 and 5 must be 0. 3 times 4 12 1 times negative 2 negative 2 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. That's going to be 0, so yes, it is parallel to the plane. C. Is vector 15, negative 10, and 25 normal to plane? Normal to plane, here we have, let me write it again, 15, negative 10, and 25. On the other hand, the normal vector is 3, negative 2, and 5. So, 3, negative 2, and 5. As you see here, if you multiply each component by 5, you got these numbers. So it means that, yes, that's normal to the plane. And part D, it says, find another vector that is normal to the plane. So it is 3, negative 2, and 5. So when we multiply it by, let's say, 2, it's going to be 6, negative 4, and 10. Or if you multiply it by 3, it's going to be 9, negative 6, and 15. So these are two vectors that are normal to the plane. Now, next example, it says find the scalar equation of plane containing points A, negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, B is 4, 6, 2, and C is 5, negative 4, and 1. So I can say, let's find out two vectors on the plane, A, B, which is 4 minus negative 3, which is 7, 6 minus negative 1, which is 7. 2 minus negative 2 is going to be 4. On the other hand, we can write AC. 
5 minus negative 3, 8. Negative 4 minus negative 1 is going to be negative 3. And 1 minus negative 2 is going to be 3. So these are the vectors on the plane. In order to write the scalar equation of line, we need to have bx plus ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0. A, B, C is the component of the normal vector, so we need to find out the normal vector. In order to find normal vector, we need to find out the cross product of these two. So, A, B cross A, C. That makes it as A2, B3 minus A3, B2 a3, b1 minus a1, b3. Then we have a1, b2 minus a2, b1. Make it as a2 is 7, b3 is 3, a3 is 4, b2 is negative 3, a3 is 4, b1 is 8, a1 is 7, b3 is 3, a1 is 7, b2 is negative 3, a2 is 7, B1 is 8. So 7 times 3 plus 12, 21 plus 12 is going to be 33. 4 times 8 is 32 minus 21 is going to be 11. Then we have negative 21 and minus 56. That's going to be negative 77. You can simplify it as 3, 1, and negative 7 if we divide it by 11. So that's going to give us the A, B, and C. So it's going to be 3x plus y minus 7, z plus d equals to 0. Now we need to find out the d value. We can use any of these three numbers to find out d. Negative 3, negative 1, and negative 2 which is going to be 3 times negative 3 plus y time y is negative 1 minus 7 times negative 2 plus d equals to 0. So we have negative 9 minus 1 plus 14 plus d equals to 0. 14 minus 9 is 5 minus 1 is 4 plus d equals to 0. d is negative 4. So we have 3x plus y minus 7z minus 4 equals to 0. That's going to be the scalar equation. Next example, it says determine the scalar equation of each plane. Part A, parallel to the xz plane and through the points negative 7, 8, and 9. So we have xz plane that has the normal vector perpendicular to both x and z axis. So the normal is going to be 0, 1, and 0 because we need to have the y axis. So 0, 1, and 0 is going to be the normal vector. So when you have ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0, these two part is going to be 0. So we have by plus d equals to 0. Then we can sub this point in it y is 8 so we have d is 1 y is 8 plus d so d will be negative 8 so the equation of line is going to be y minus 8 equals to 0 next one it says containing the line x y z equals to 1 2 4 plus t times 4 1 11 and perpendicular to 4 15 and 8 plus s times 2, 3, and negative 1. So since it says perpendicular to this vector, it means that the direction is the same as our a, b, and c. So when we have ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0, so the normal is going to be a is going to be 2, b is going to be 3, and c is negative 1. In order to find D now, it says containing the line 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4 plus T times 4, 1, 11. 
So that contains this point. We sub it there. It's going to be 2 times 1 plus 3 times 2 plus negative 4 plus t equals to 0. So we have 2 plus 6 minus 4 plus t equals to 0. 8 minus 4 is 4 plus t equals to So d will be negative 4. So we have 2x plus 3y minus z minus 4 equals to 0. That's going to be the equation. So in this example it says find two vectors normal to each plane. So here we have this plane and the normal vector is going to be 1, 2 and 2. That's one of them. It says find two vectors normal. So next one can be this vector times any number, let's say multiply by 2, so it's going to be 2, 4, and 4. Or you can say negative 2, negative 4, and negative 4. You can write lots of different answers. Part 2, it says determine a vector parallel to each plane. So here we have 1, 2, and 2. We need to find something else that the dot product makes it equal to 0. For example, if I have uh, negative 2 and 0 and uh, 1, 1 times 2, 1 times negative 2, negative 2, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is going to be 2, that's going to be equal to 0. So that's going to be the, this one is parallel to the plane. Next one, it says 5x plus 2z equals to 7. So the normal is going to be 5, 0, and 2. Another one I can write 10, 0, and 4. These are normal to, normal to the plane, which is 5, 0, and 2. If we want to write one more, it's going to be 15, 0, and 6, something like that. Now we need to find out the vector parallel to the plane. We have 5, 0, and 2. If we multiply it by what number are we going to get 0? Let's say if you multiply by negative 2, 1 and 5. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. 1 times 0, 0. 5 times 2, positive 10. That's going to be 0. So negative 2, 1. Negative 2, 1, 5 is going to be the parallel to the plane. Now in this example it says write a scalar equation of each plane given its vectors. So here we have vector equation. Uh, these two vectors I need to find out the cross product which will be a2b3 minus a3b2 a3b1 minus a1b3 and then we have a1b2 minus a2b1. So a2 is 2, b3 is 3, a3 is negative 1, b2 is negative 2, a3 is negative 1, b1 is 1, minus a1 is 1, b3 is 3, a1 is 1, b2 is negative 2, minus a2 is 2, b1 is 1. So it's going to be 6 minus 2, 4. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Negative 2 minus 2 is going to be negative 4. So that's going to be the normal vector. We can reduce it to 1, negative 1 and negative 1. So it's going to be ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0. So we have x minus y minus z plus d equals to 0. Now, because it contains this point, 3, 7, and negative 5, we sub it there to find d. So it's going to be 3 minus 7 minus negative 5 plus d equals to 0. That will be negative 4 plus 5 plus d equals to 0. So we have d plus 1 equals to 0. So d is negative 1. So the equation is going to be x minus y minus z minus 1 equals to this equation. So that's the normal equation. That's the scalar equation. Next one. It says determine if the planes in each pair is parallel, perpendicular or neither. 
So here the normal vector is 4, negative 5 and 1. And here the normal vector is 2, negative 9 and 1. As you see here, none of them is multiple of the other one. Let's check. So they are definitely not parallel. Let's see if they are perpendicular. If they are perpendicular, it means that the normal vectors has to be, when you do the dot product of normal vector, it has to be 0. So 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 5 times negative 9 is positive 45. 1 times 1 is going to be 1. So it's going to be 54. So that's neither. Next one, we have 12, negative 6 and 3. That's the normal vector of the first plane. The second one is negative 6, 3 and negative 9. So let's check. They are not parallel again because this one is multiplied by negative 2. It gives us this one. Multiplied by negative 2 is going to be this one. But here, that's negative 9 becomes 3. So they are not parallel for sure. Let's see if they are perpendicular. So we need to find a dot product. 12 times negative 6 is negative 72. 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. Negative 9 and 3 is going to be negative 20. So definitely that's not going to be equal to 0. So they are not parallel and they are not also perpendicular. So neither.